Our guest on any 10 now is from Pace Field Hockey this week. We're talking with Krista Dietz, who has 20 goals as we have this conversation this season. Uh, not the first time, though. Had 20 goals as a freshman as well, although we still have time to play here in 2023. Krista, why is it that you have a knack for finding the back of the cage? I think it stems a lot from my teammates. Um, we work really well together. We have a lot of good team chemistry on the team, especially with me and Noel being... Um, as some would say, a dynamic duo, we kind of usually find each other throughout the field. Um, I'm always looking to pass her. She's usually looking to pass to me or vice versa. Um, I think like for me, having a being a forward is having like that goal mentality of always scoring in games. And no matter the score, if we're down, if we're winning, I'm always just looking kind of to shoot the ball just to get it in or at least get an opportunity to score. And I just get lucky sometimes and sometimes they go in. Um, but yeah, what does it feel like you are coming off a, a performance where you had five goals um, this past week when it feels like everything is clicking for you? And, and that was five goals on, I think, seven shots. Um, and it feels like you can do no wrong. Um, what does that power feel like um, when you're out there on the field? I think coming into that game, I knew it was the breast cancer game um, and my aunt had breast cancer. So for me, that game was very special because she was also there. Um so I just went into that game with like the same mentality, but like now that I'm playing for someone, it's kind of different. So I knew I had to perform for her because I knew she was going to be there. So scoring five goals, I didn't think that would happen. But I mean, that was just, I guess, for the cards for that day. Um, I just kind of went out there, played my game, and I felt like I played really well that game, which was good. Sometimes I come off and I'm just like, oh, I didn't really play that well, but like I could still score and I still think I don't play that well, but I know that game, like I came off and I was like really proud of myself of how hard I worked throughout the game. And like, it kind of showed in the scoring, which was good for me. Um, were you like consciously thinking of your aunt as that game played out? Or was it one of those things where that was your motivation going into it? Um, I think it was both. Uh, I actually wrote her name on my like leg um, with paint, pink paint. But she she knew after the game, she was really happy after the game to be there to see it. But I don't know, I think it was kind of both because I thought about it before the game that it was like a big game for like us to win. And um, like standing wise, I think I knew like it was a big game that we had to come out and win with. Um, you, you mentioned that you got into field hockey through playing soccer initially. Um, you made that change around eighth grade. Am I right there? Yeah. What was it about field hockey that became your newfound passion and that carried the mantle from that point forward? Um, I think it was like my friends in um, middle school they all were playing field hockey and one of the girls you actually interviewed Mia she's my best friend from home um, we played soccer together our whole lives um, like my our dads coached us when we were in seniors in high school literally before we came to school um, so we always were competing with each other on like who was going to be better and <laughs> she won the soccer one I won the field hockey one so now we're just like going at it with each other in field <laughs> hockey and soccer um, it's kind of fun because I call her all the time and talk about how good we're doing and she tells me how they're doing and I go to her game she comes to mine like we love each other so much and like to have the competition when you were younger um, still going on now in two different sports is kind of good for me because like you always need competition with your friends and she was playing soccer I was playing field hockey but we were also so happy for each other that we were still pushing each other to get to where we are today so I think it was more like my friends were pushing me to like be there and be happy. And I was so happy playing field hockey. Like, I think I just lost my passion for soccer, but I still played up until senior year of high school, just like with club. But other than that, I like really loved field hockey. Talking about Mia Klammer from St. Rose. Uh, these are things that I feel like, like media types think about. These are not conversations that athletes sit around and have, but uh, would it be cool if you guys ended the season, both leading the conference respectively in your sports in scoring, because Mia does lead the league in soccer goals right now. I think it would because freshman year, we both were rookie of the year and we like talked about it so much. We we're like, that's just not real that we both were the same thing and had like kind of the same goals, but we both have like the same goals in each of our sports. Like we always want to win. Like we always want to get far. And I talk to her all the time about it still. Like we've worked so hard our whole lives to like get to where we are today. And we can't really just stop and like just pause, I guess to say like to stop and just quit and like not keep going. Um, we have to finish out what we started. And 
her dad and my dad have always said like just push it out push it out push it out like never stop going both potentially be player of the year this year as well so a little bit of uh mimicry going on uh one other thing is that mia has won a conference championship though uh yeah. you you got there last year for the first time um what is the feeling like of being at that final stage and now you guys sit here as we have this conversation at eight and three this year um how do you get that job finished in 2023 i think last year um our mentality still is one day at a time. You can't look ahead in life. You can't look back. If you lose, you lose, move on, go to the next game, go to the next practice. It's always that we need to move forward, not move backwards. And I think in the beginning of the season, we lost some games and we were holding on to those games that we were losing to last year. We just move forward. We need to keep moving forward. I think to what got us to the championship game last year is the mentality that we just need to keep going and we cannot stop in the game until we win the game. Like the New Haven game last year, we were winning, we got down, and then we came back in overtime and won, which was great. Like, it was a great feeling. Um, and then to get to the championship game and lose, it was heartbreaking because, like, everybody kind of counted us out in the conference because we were so low in the rankings and we kind of proved them all wrong. This season, I'm hoping we get back to the conference championship, and I feel like this time we win. We have a great team chemistry this year. I think our team chemistry is way higher than it was last year, and I think we're counting on everyone this year to just put in the 100% effort every game. Like We're just not moving back. We're moving forward. Let me ask you about some things not related to field hockey as well, because you've got a cool major, um, if I'm right on this. Digital cinema and filmmaking, is that right? Yeah. Um, what about digital cinema and filmmaking interested you when you arrived on campus? Um, so when I first got here, I was a business major actually. And then I switched to film because I realized I wanted to do like the sports broadcasting type of realm for a job. So I actually minor in sports broadcasting and media, and that's kind of the realm I want to go into, like the job experience. Um, I've always had a love for sports. So like Oh, any kind of sports. I love going to them. I love hockey. I love football. I love soccer. And I even love field hockey. Like I'd still commentate field hockey or be a coach for field hockey. Like field hockey is like my life. Like I, that's all I do. <laughs> um, But film, I think was just interesting because I'm a really hands-on person. So like, I'm more like, I need to be touching things other than just like sitting in a class and learning, but like pace gives you the opportunity to like be hands-on and go out and like record like my freshman year like I did the games in the spring like I recorded them and I produced like the any 10 things so that was cool what's been cool that you've learned about like the filmmaking process that maybe you take for granted when you're just at home I think it's like the cuts that they make and the editing that they do like we learned a lot about editing and like last semester I had an editing class that like I literally got to edit whatever I wanted so I made literally a montage of like field hockey cuts and it was like, wow, this is like crazy. She's like, you have to cut each ball to like make sure it flows together. And it was like really cool to see how like the editing process was really working and like the cuts that they do to make films and stuff. Has it given you a desire to like make a Hollywood motion picture? Or are we like, you know what, sports broadcasting is more my speed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure sports broadcasting is more my speed. But I mean, it's cool to learn about. It's really cool to learn about. Krista, uh, congratulations on the play so far this season and uh, best of luck as we uh, head down the end of the regular season and into the conference tournament. Thank you so much for having me.